They came without warning, settling quietly in the murky depths. The world above, oblivious to the silent invasion. Trying to determine how a single zebra mussel may have gotten into pelican. Of biological species outside their native area as the main problem. The negative impact they have is that they commonly grow too large for the pipes in which they live. And they clog the water intakes of water supplies and hydroelectric companies. <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true. Tonight's special segment, Lake Invaders. invasive species that jeopardize recreation and the delicate ecological order. Her challenge is to keep these invading species from spreading further. Aquatic invasive species are the biggest threat today facing our lakes and rivers and our ability to use and enjoy them. We really need everybody, you included, to step up, take responsibility for our actions so that we can enjoy these resources today and future generations can as well. Aquatic invasive species like quagga mussels and zebra mussels and Asian carp and Eurasian milfoil. These things are incompatible with our way of life. Invasive zebra and quagga mussels are filter feeders and feed primarily on algae. They take in food through an inhalant siphon tube that they extend from between their shells. In this video, a scientist from Marone Bio Innovations demonstrates how a zebra mussel readily consumes a product called Zequinox a microbial-based control product for invasive mussels. Using a pipette, the scientist passively injects the Zeponox product into the water in front of the mussel. You can see how the mussel uses its inhalant siphon to take in the solution. Also notice how the mussel quickly retracts and stops feeding when it senses a threat. But then, once the perceived threat has passed, the mussel continues to feed on Zequinox, completely unaware of its lethal powers. This is comprised of dead cells from a naturally occurring bacteria. These cells destroy the mussel's digestive system when consumed and cause death. But while deadly to dry sanded mussels, Zequinox doesn't harm other aquatic species and provides the industry with an environmentally compatible weapon to help them.